Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, three cushion fans. We are back in Ankara, Turkey for the second semi-final of this World Cup. And after all the excitement of the first one, and I have to say excitement and drama of the first one, where Dick Jaspers managed to beat Marco Zanetti 50 points to 49. I am again joined by the many-time world champion Torbjörn Blondahl. What a match we just saw. Yeah, crazy. Crazy match. I don't know what to say. It looked like Dick was just completely out of the match and he got an extra chance. And, and then he misses his first match point. I didn't get him. I didn't find him here. So I couldn't ask him if he played three or four cushions. I don't know. But it uh, looked like a mistake. He was shocked himself. You saw his expression. And it was a classic situation where Dick needed eight more points and he was given that one extra chance and he looked like he was going to make that eight like he did against Myung Woo Cho like he has done so often never ever give Dick that one extra inning but then he surprisingly missed his match point went in the hole gave Marco Zanetti one more chance and Marco looked like he had hit a really good shot and missed by a Did millimeter it was drama it was horrible for Marco to lose like that I think he celebrated also. He thought he had hit it well and he celebrated a little bit. Yes, he looked like he had done everything right, expected to make the point. And then the English worked on the fourth rail for him and it died on the fifth. But let's not concentrate on that anymore. We have a second and very exciting semi-final for you. Mr. Tran from Vietnam, Mr. Tazdemir from Turkey. Two truly great players and it will probably be a different type of match from the one we just saw here we have one of the best laggers in the game I played against Typhoon I, I lagged like half a ball from the cushion and he was three millimeters from the cushion and this time he was two millimeters or, or three or four from the cushion very good always can take this advantage of starting the match and he has he does have a really good break shot so many times the next one is a sure point now what these two players have in common is they are both excellent position play players Typhon is maybe the maybe the expert, best in the world yeah. but uh, don't underestimate the position play abilities of his opponent because in Vietnam many times the players play a kind of game where they don't get any points at all if they don't score three. So uh, it's no use being a shot maker because you have to play position on everything to, to at least get a point on the scoreboard. So Tran is, you know, he, he doesn't make any compromises. He plays position all the time and uses ultra low speed and really s tries to control everything. In in that matter, they are kind of equal. Both of them brilliant position players. Tran also very defensive sometimes. Can really keep you out of a match. Typhon not that interested in safety play. Always goes for the big runs. And he makes so many of them. I remember a couple of years ago when you were in Turkey to practice with Typhon for a couple of days and I had you on the phone and you said, well, I have never seen so many 12s and 13s as I have in the past few days. He keeps pumping them out like it's nothing. Tran being the better finisher of the two. Typhoon tends to be a little tense when it gets tough in the end. What a control he has over the balls, and I mean all three balls. This time he put the red exactly right, so he has four options. We can take you viewers through what he's doing, this time just leaving the yellow in the middle, hoping for a good hit on the red. Not sure he got it. We did mention earlier that 
extra prize, new extra prize from the UMB, 29,000 euro for a new world record high run. And Typhoon would certainly be a candidate for it because he has, in his practice matches, been over 30 several times. He has made all the runs from 33 and down, 33, 32 and you name it. He's made all runs. Surely the only player with such a record. But Here. then of course it will only count if it's refereed. We don't do practice matches. Typhoon on five. This is a hard to reach shot if he wants anything off the yellow. So it's not going to be one of those points. It's going to be the tumbler shot off the red. Perfect hit. Very good. <laughs> He's Mr. Smooth. Smoothest, softest of strokes. Tran is very good at shooting the ball with lots of speed as well. Maybe has the bigger repertoire of the two, but Typhoon is so good at position play, he, he gives himself a lot of easy shots and yeah, he he's a difficult one, but this is, so, this is a shot that he plays so well. He plays this like, uh, yeah. It's like a pick, pick up point. Like a break shot. different start to this match. First semi-final was a very tight match with lots of difficult positions. This one starts off in a more producing mode. That's normally the wrong side of yellow for position, so the next one will not be so easy. Red is in a good position, so if he had hit the yellow on the other side, might have been a good one. We had a peculiar match earlier in this tournament between Typhoon Tashdimir and Dani Sanchez, where Typhoon built up an enormous lead, 30 points. And it looked like a simple victory over an opponent as strong as Dani. But like you said, Typhoon had a little bit of trouble closing it out, making the last three, four points. And Dani made a big comeback, lost in the end, but he got over 40 points. Yeah, these guys are diff they're all difficult to beat. It seems like when... when some players are far behind, they just score even more, and you're never really safe. Yeah, this is going nicely. And this is going to be a totally different match from the one we just saw. That's the run of 10 that we have been talking about during that last match all yeah. the time. And here, it never came. Five, five uh, minutes, and here we have it. Between Jaspers and Zanetti, it never came, the 10. Maybe we he w uh, wants to do uh, like a, a Martin Horn, Mr. Tazdemir, run 20 of the break. That's what Horn did against him, him in Charm. This one and too long. That's the first mistake. That's a mistake. So the run ends at 10. Good start for Tazdemir, but he would have loved to mm, have made that 11th.
Tran has won one World Cup. Am I wrong? Tran has won the Ho Chi Minh World Cup in a final against his countryman Din Nain Go. A wonderful, wonderful final, high quality, one of the better matches you will ever see. 40-39 in 13 innings? I think it was 15 innings. 15 but maybe, okay. It was a super high quality match where Nago just walked on water the first 30 points. Did absolutely everything right. Tron made a good comeback and it was of course very special to Japan, uh, two Vietnamese players in the final of a Vietnamese World Cup. That was historic. And that is indeed the one World Cup victory for Tran, but I do not think it will be the last. This fellow is so good. Oops, a little short. I think it was one of the first World Cups he played where he ended up in a shootout with you, am I correct? Yeah, that was in Greece. There he showed his, his great comeback, comeback abilities. I was leading like, I think, 29 to 6 in 5 innings or something like that. And he came all the way back to tie and we had to play a shootout. Which you won by Three. making a good run. 3-2? No, 3-2. Just not a good oh, run. Just 3-2. Just okay. I made 3, he made 2 and then he got a kiss on a tricky little 3 cushion. But I seem to remember that he had a chance to win the match before the shootout. He had... Yeah, he, he passed me all, all the way, yes. yes. He was leading in the end, uh, maybe 37 or 38 to 34. Yeah. And, I, I and there was one moment when he could have won the match in, in regular time. Yeah, I don't remember what he missed there, but I, I found a six in the end to, to be first out. Yes. And at that moment, he had nothing like the reputation he has now, because when we think of Tran now, we think of a top 10 player in the world, top 5 even, at some point. But then, back then, it would have been absolutely sensational for him to beat you in a World Cup. And he was really close. Now we all know him. We know he how good he is. He's not always in great shape, but this tournament he has been playing well. But this is That not was good. a poor shot. Not that a good was hit. a kiss he should have seen coming. Yeah, he just hit it. Everybody knows that kiss. He didn't hit this one thin enough. Not super slow, this one. <laughs> it's too complicated to play this with almost no speed. That would have given a fantastic position, but now he's spreading the balls out a little bit. Might have an opening from red. Maybe even a very good one. Left side of red. All the English. And three or five cushions might work. If it does, it's it's a free point. Plays only three. And this is very good. Perfect. Red ball goes up and down. Looks like it's going to a nice place. And I can see that I would have played the shot wrong because I would have tried to make a combination shot there with probably too much speed. He put all his eggs in one basket, three rails, that's it. He is so much uh, considering position plays. He sometimes, sometimes goes for a little more difficult shot. 
or a more difficult speed. That happens, but this tournament he has been playing crazy, crazy good. Did you know that in the World Championship in Sharm, Typhoon actually had the high tournament average of the field? No, I didn't know. Jaspers became the world champion and Tazdemir lost in the quarterfinal to Horn, but at the end of the road he had the highest tournament average of them all. Played over, well over 2.4 for the event. Oh, here we go again. That's this has happened time. before, ladies and gentlemen. Normally the light goes on immediately again, but... Yes. <laughs> and Typhoon and had typhoon. a nice smile. Yeah. He just made the point. Let's see if we have a replay. Oh, that is so nice. He we can we laugh might have about a, it. We might have a completely dark replay on this one. A little fuse blowing like it happened the day before yesterday. Yeah, normally the, the table scoreboard goes out when yes, this happens. Yes, they have so to now reset have the to score. Funny, we did keep our monitor on in the commentary position, but the uh, table lights went out, everything went out, everything went black. Just a couple of seconds and then it was back to normal. So now the technical guys are fixing the scoreboards. It's Cameras already still good. Work. It's already on. What a good shot he played Typhoon in the dark. Yes, and the referee was close enough to see that he made the point. He was lucky there, Typhoon. He had light before he yes. released the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been terrible in the last moment when you're already going to shoot and the light goes and out. The light goes out. We have to trust, trust the Turkish referee that it was really a point and nothing happened there in the dark. Tried a very difficult line there with top, reverse English, came up a little short. But he has a good lead, 14 points to 2, and Tehran is looking to get into the match. He wants to be a part of it, not a spectator when Typhoon is making runs. You always risk that when you play against Typhoon because you can't stop him. He's, he's playing his own game, just collecting points. And when he's at the table, there's nothing you can do. Ooh, Little fluke is always good. That's a nice fluke from Mr. Tran. He will apologize for that one. So difficult to, to take away the kiss there. He had to try to get the white there behind the red in that little gap. Didn't quite make it, but oh, I think he would have missed the shot. Lady Luck came to his rescue. That's even more lucky. Cue ball didn't have the good direction. It was corrected by the kiss. Also going for not really slow speed here. I think it because he wanted to get the red to the other side of the table, but it landed a little bit off. Can you give us an explanation, Torbjörn, about the very fast rise of the Vietnamese players? How did they get so good, so quick? I I think it's about the the concentration on three cushion because they really did play a lot of balk line and, and I think free game years back. And they kind of shifted into playing three cushion. They had a lot of you know, a big, big group of players, but they were all playing. They were all not playing three cushion. So there was uh, like a a good talent pool to fish in. Absolutely, I remember some Borkland player went there for some exhibition, and there were like thousands of people screaming during the matches. So a lot of interest for billiards, and then some. I don't know how many years ago that is, but they shifted to three cushion and keeps they keep producing good players. Yeah, because it's obviously 
Oh, that's in the gap. It's obviously not just this Mr. Tran who is so good. We have like a handful in the world's top 50. How about 2019 runner-up world championship? Dukan Chin Wen, who played the final against you in Randers. We have Mr. Uh, Wen Kwok Nguyen. Who is a brilliant player, but not very constant. He, he He's a erratic little up sometimes, and down, yes. but a great player. And We have Din Nain Go, who played like fantastic three cushion in the Continental Cup in Seoul a couple of years ago. Another brilliant player. He strokes the ball so well and... Seems and he to know everything. Some seriously good European players there. And when we are in Vietnam for World Cups, there are of course a lot of Vietnamese players playing qualification tournaments and so many good players. Tran with a little bit of control here. Probably is going to play this one really slow. No, I'm wrong again. Stop the ball here, stop the film, and all the balls will be in the middle. But they kiss together and stay in the middle anyway, so might be okay here. One of the earliest Vietnamese players to join the circuit was uh, Li Tae Vin. Mm. But nice we never player. see him anymore, I think. I think he stopped playing. He stopped playing. Yeah, some some Vietnamese friends informed me but nobody actually ever stops playing three cushion it's such a nice game nobody nobody wants to stop so he might have started again he was a good player very dangerous i remember him beating codron two two times on the same day in twice new york in uh, in the Verhoeven open in new york he beat codron twice my goodness how many people can say that it was on the same day because <laughs> the last game in the in the qualify yes. qualifying group and then they met in the first round of the I think it was even back to back two matches might have been but says a lot about him and this is looking pretty nice this guy is He's really, his on, really on fire he has been playing so well in this tournament his win over uh, Martin Horn was almost an exhibition match full of position play and when he missed he made sure Martin didn't get a chance so he's a he's a complete player he he's he has a very good speed control which is good for these ultra fast tables he can produce runs and when he doesn't find any possibility he can play safe really good and he has one of the most beautiful strokes so straight and very courageous I remember him. Oh yes, I played. A, I tied a match, and we had to go to to uh, shootout, shootout in Korea, a Korean World Cup tournament. And I made I don't know made two or three in the in my inning, my my shootout inning. And he made his his first point, and then the second was a really really sensitive three cushion, and he played it so difficult. His cue cue ball was frozen, and he played it high cue ultra soft and kind of a half draw shot and he made it so perfect with exact position and and then he won really courageous and smart player four cushions here pretty good line he didn't push all the way to the corner there. No, he uh, had s some room to spare to make it longer. We must say also that uh, Dick Jaspers and Typhoon Tastemir are playing on the same table like they did in their quarterfinals. So a little bit disadvantage for Marco and Tron. They had their quarterfinals on the other table. Correct. But then, of course, we switched TV tables. Table one used to be the TV table earlier. Typhoon is disappointed that he didn't get the length. 
It was difficult to get that perfect hit there. Just a few points before the corner. It could have gotten there, obviously. This is nice. Full corner here, I think, for the point. Didn't hit full corner. It's enough. We know that Koreans are really good at, at tickies and bank shots and two cushions first and five cushion first. How, how do you rank the, the Vietnamese players in that category? I don't think they have that game the Koreans play where you get double points for bank shots. That's not a, I think, that's not, I think, a Vietnamese tradition. But this generation of Korean players looks like they have really complete games. They can do it all. I can't see any weaknesses in Tran's game. He can play defensive, he can play tactical, he can produce, he can play position. So he has a very complete game. Same goes for Mr. Ngo. Very he also practice a lot. Very robust players. Not easy to disturb those guys. This looks a little short, doesn't it? It looks... Yes, you're right. A little wry grin from Tazdemir. Maybe because he thought he had made it. Little curve there from the first to the second cushion makes it short. Ah, might have been a little deviation. Ah, we see it on his reaction. Yeah. Now we have it. It makes a little gesture. Same little deviation that we saw in the in the other match. It's not very much, so players might not even know about it. If it's if if it's a clear deviation, you you know uh, you know about it, so you just play it a little bit longer, and then it's fine. We saw it in the first semi-final between uh, Zanetti and Jaspers that the cue ball ended at a spot where it couldn't normally come so it must have drifted a few centimeters it was impossible to land there here position play again from Tran red ball played to the cushion but not to the cushion it should be out there so you can use all sides of it well, he could not have hit this one much better. The key is really the, the, the red ball position. Perfect. Just coming out, so it's exactly in front of you. You have many options. Tries the same again. He can go on forever like this. Oops, no point. Aye. So the gap has been closed. Tazdemir opened proceedings with a run of 10 in the first inning, but now the score is 14 to 13. And we have a match on our hands. Very different from the first semi final. A lot of scoring immediately. And open match, not, not a lot of safety shots. Cross table shot many times better than the short angle with the draw because of kiss problems. Do you think he's going to play this as a draw shot? Draw back to the same long cushion and then the two cushions behind the yellow. We'll see. Looks like he's going for it. This is pretty deep. If you use extra speed, it's also a good safety shot. But it becomes so difficult to make.
tons of quality in that one. Unbelievable, that is so nice. Of course, the fact that the tables are so quick helps a little bit. This will be twice around to the long chance. Yeah, he goes short cushion first. Do you think he aims for the gap there behind the red? So this was actually a miss. Uh, I don't know, I can't look into his brain, but this line tends to be quite long off the second rail. Yeah, because of th all the spin that yes, that that's, uh, uh, that's develops making in the it wrong. You, uh, you're naturally going to get to the short rail easier than to the ball. Yes, m my opinion, equally difficult to play four or five cushions on that one. So I think many players just play down there somewhere yeah, and, down there somewhere. and hope for one of the variations. This might spin a lot on the third cushion. Yes, it does. That one needed an absolute corner hit, I think, to have a chance. Short, long, short from the white. Goes short, long, long from the red. What does he do with the kiss? Ah, he goes after it. Nice. Oh, that was a great shot. Yes. Good Cue speed ball. and good attack for that line, for that shot. Cue ball actually starting off on the line to the long cushion, but then curves and catches the short, short cushion first. Nice. And you know you're not going to miss it short. It's one If you're out of the kiss, you're good. That was... One advantage with that difficult shot. Great skill to see, to find the advantages in the different positions. Now, is he going to go and play the one cushion solution here? The one cushion players are so good at, like the Martin Horn type shot. He does, and he makes it look easy. Yeah, I like that one too. I prefer that one. I don't want to play three long cushions there. So now we can. You can have a look at his cushion first play. I think there's no other way here than playing cushion first on the white. Need to judge this correctly. Only speed. Perfect. Didn't need a lot of time to that. He just looks, judges and shoots. He saw that only full hit and speed will make the point. And of course, a certain amount of right side English doesn't matter how much because cue ball will spin anyway after cushion hitting, after hitting the cushion, after hitting the ball. The cushion and the ball, it, it will, will always develop. Accumulate a lot of English. Yeah, exactly. Full spin bank shot. Now this looks like he underestimated that one did not do any calculations that he played it on feel looked so easy and that was a very bad miss because this is a generous target to, to aim at both players with a couple of little mistakes in a very open match he really should have made that one if he wants to win that is siphon going for He's going to use the corner. The corners of these tables are very sharp. You can get the cue ball very long out of the corners. Not that long. Yeah, he could have scored from yellow as well, but <laughs> he did so thin. Couldn't he? Did he absolutely have to play to have to hit the red first? I think he had to he needed to come in from the red. That's what it looked like to me. Good chance for the Vietnamese.
I've never never had a conversation with Mr. Tran because my Vietnamese is well so so at best. Not so very good. But he seems to have a very nice attitude. He is ready to smile. Yeah, nice guy. He and enjoys himself. He's a he's a nice fellow. Always ready for a joke, yes. but of course with language problems. It's more slapstick maybe. And the same goes for his uh, countryman uh, when Quark Nguyen. Yeah, he's a he's a wonderful guy. Oh he's yes, that there's a lot of grinning and joking around the table. Pretty good at English as well, when Quark Nguyen. This is everything but a sure point. That white ball is not in a perfect position. If you miss Back it once, up? you no, miss it too twice. Much. Could he maybe have made a combination shot with less speed? Miss it on the inside and back up? If he plays this slower? Yeah, maybe he wanted to, but y that distance, you need to be exactly sure where you hit that ball. And that depend that decides how yeah. quick your cue ball will be. It was never easy. You don't want to play that one at all at slow speed because it's so far away and you need some draw. Nice little three cushion here from Typhoon. No chance to play position. Only can push two balls down to the short cushion. Sometimes you get very good positions out of that. Maybe he has a bank shot now as his best option, but don't think he's playing it. Long, long short with a thin hit so that the red does not hit the yellow. Oh, extra speed to hug the short cushion. Wow. I was surprised at that speed for that shot. That's the kind of shot that I think Semi Saigon int introduced. As long as you hit somewhere down there yeah, on the, the long cushion, the cannot top miss. Will keep it low. Yeah, the yeah. It'll, it'll hug the cushion. Yeah. Not not very much, but enough to never miss. High hit and speed. I did not see that coming. This is like uh, a master class. We are getting educated here. Three cushion bank shot that way, not five cushion, not three cushion the other way. A little bit surprising. Oh, look at this! <laughs> almost made, almost made a beautiful fluke there. And in the end, his white ball goes into the corner and causes into the cushion and causes problems for his opponent. He avoided the first kiss and got himself into the second one. Is that another wa another situation where he didn't get close enough to one kiss? No, I think it's no, not. No, this, this kiss, this is one you have almost no control over. Difficult one to avoid, yes. yes. Short, long, short. Little safety shot, but he makes those all the time. I think we can rename those shots. <laughs> Let's say Dick and Typhoon shots. He makes almost all of them. That's impressive. Very tricky now, the three cushion. Mm. 
Nobody likes these. Well, maybe he does. Um, I think Marco plays these very well. Longish. It's so easy to make them long and it's so easy to leave them like 30 centimeters short. Horrible. So, so depending on speed, how fast is your cue ball when it gets the second cushion? There, lots of things happen this time. But it's confusing in your mind. You know that if you, if you use a little bit less of the ball, you can make it long enough if you play it a little bit speedier. But then instantly you get the fear in your head of making it too long and you start, you know, going back and forth and more and less. Sorry, but why doesn't he why doesn't he play the tiki here? I don't know. That's because he wanted to show that he can play that shot. <laughs> Looked like a perfect tiki. But of course this top view No no, there's no tiki. Okay, now I see. But he didn't play this he he played too go short, long, long and into the wide. Maybe he gambled a little bit there. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Shoot there somewhere and... Played it as a two-chancer. If it goes in between, it's bad luck. And would have been a decent safety shot as well. There was room to go in between yeah. those two chances. Again, kiss avoiding. Beautiful quality in the cue ball. Uh, such a control. <laughs> he seems very very cool he always plays the same way uh, doesn't matter the score he won the LG Masters in Korea final against Codron 40-39 wasn't it yes and his outshot was yeah it was like a horror movie, so difficult, and he just made it like that, and he won the tournament. <laughs> Is he always playing that speedy? He looks pretty fast here, takes quick decisions, and very quickly gets ready for the next shot, almost running there. Doesn't want to make another mistake on these three or five cushions. Has not been perfect. Dragging it with lots of spin to make it long enough. And doing a good job. It's pretty full, the white staying in the diagonal, but the red came there to his luck or, yeah. Can he reach? To his advantage, but he can't reach. At least not very comfortably. Made it look easy. With a stroke like that, you everything looks easy. Even in this stretching position, his cueing is perfect. So, is it an advantage to have 150, 200, 250 people on your side? Or is it a little bit an advantage for the other player that he has a chance to beat all of those guys and not only one opponent. I think both of these guys are seasoned enough and professional enough to not be bothered all that much. And Typhoon has, of course, played many matches f in front of his home crowd, but he has also played dozens and dozens of World Cup quarterfinals and semifinals in other countries. I don't think it will matter that much to the players. I think it could be a little extra pressure for Tashtemir. For Typhoon. Tash Typhoon is a very nice person and he might maybe, maybe a little bit feel that he is dis disappointing all those fans. Yes, that could be a factor. The 
the expectations, the I know I, I couldn't really perform in international tournaments in Sweden sometimes, but generally it was difficult. You are a little bit of involved in the organization and that pressure you have, you, you actually you don't have a home advantage, but it no. it's automatic because you know it from soccer and from other sports. But we have never seen, I think, the typical Davis Cup crowds where the audience is totally partisan. That's yeah, that's not really a billiard thing. In South America, maybe, and and uh, semi Saigonar in Turkey always has a lot of a lot of support from from the audience. But the audience bravely support all the Turkish players, and they are also fairly applauding foreigners' points. We did have a nice round of applause for. A Good run by Nikos yesterday. Look at this. He's completely free. A run of nine already. It's going fast now. Looking so good. Yeah, you said Nikos made a brave attempt to come back yesterday. Made yes. a beautiful run. and He made a great nine and he was rewarded with applause even though his opponent was Turkish. So that was... Thumbs up and head off to the crowd. Yes, Mr. Turan is now taking control of this match. That's completely playing his own game. He does not care about the no. score, who is the opponent. He's just playing billiards and enjoying it. Perfect shots. Caroming close to the center slowly. And this time he did not get a good position actually. Red was a little slow. Ten off the break for Tazdemir and now an eight point lead for his opponent. So he has done a lot of work, Mr. Tran. Draw shot now with maximum spin. And you start to expect him to get all all these shots. You just don't expect him to miss. Lost the spin on the third cushion yeah, completely. Yeah, that, that ball was... <laughs> there was no life in it. Yeah, maybe he wanted it like that, but... We are going to take a few minutes break and we'll be back with you with the second half of this match.
to work. Come on, song. Okay, stand by, please. Cool. We are back in Ankara for the second half of the second semi final. This is the match between Typhoon Tajdemir and Kriachin Tran from Vietnam. It was opened by Mr. Tajdemir with a run of 10 off the break, but Tran has caught up and has built up a 28 to 20 point lead now. Torbjörn, are we impressed by Trans play, even though he has made a few mistakes? Doesn't seem to s disturb him at all. So he just forgets his mistakes and, and gets on with, the, with what he has to do. And yes, that's how it looks. very cool and uh, can always rely on his absolutely fantastic stroke. And he will be surprised that he missed that one short. He had everything taken care of. Big speed, take out the kiss, yes. but missed the point. And I was surprised that it was short uh, because it looked so good on the way. It's a kind of shot where you, yeah, you can actually not give any English at all because you hit pretty full. So any English you give is going to be too much. So need to find a way to play without English and that was just not speedy enough he should have used more speed but didn't find the right speed Typhoon Tajdemir of course the home favorite the last Turk in the field there were many and the Turks have so many good players everybody knows Semi Saigener but we have Murat Nachi Choklu, the finalist in the World Championship. We have Typhoon, we have Lutfi Chenet, and a dozen others who try to precision up and down there, Typhoon. Not, mu not much else he could do there, yeah. I think. There was no five cushion from the red, the yellow was in the path, so probably impossible, so he had to go for this. I don't think there are currently many countries with more players in the top 100 of the world ranking than Turkey. They have so many. Could be Korea. Probably, yes. Look at this. Is he playing long, long short with a gigantic curve? What an unlucky wow, shot. That is desperately unlucky. A beautiful shot, but... Can you hit that any better? He just gets unlucky. Wow. Look at the position. How can you play that shot in that position? And then you make, you exaggerate it as well. Wow. That is ridiculously unlucky. Will we see another one of those super thin hits from Typhoon? Very low speed, and he missed it thin. He's missed it thin. Yeah, that was really ultra thin. Trying so hard to hit it thin, and yeah. Typhoon after a good start, a run of ten in the first inning. The eleventh was an easy shot. Yes. If I and he has dried up mistaken. since dried up. Since then, it has Pretty been good. mostly the Vietnamese at the table. He does have a tricky one here. Will he play long, short, long or, or short, long, long? Looks like long cushion first. Difficult shot. That's one like Sanetti had. Also missing it short. Difficult line. can't really put a lot of English on this one because it's always going to be too much so you 
bound to play it with almost no English and then it might get short. Doesn't play red here. Trying to double the rail. Beautiful hit. Does it have the legs? But does it have a deviation? No, it's straight. No. Nice shot. So that little deviation that we have spotted is more uh, in at the center of the table, not along the cushion. Seven cushions. Twice around with speed. I think he wanted to be even deeper in the corner. But he has done enough. Very good. He doesn't get a shot from yellow, so he has to find a four or five cushion off the red, probably. This had to be slow, otherwise it'll always slide long. Almost made it too fast. Stays at the table, which is really important now for him. Can't let Tran run away. <laughs> Tran is a good, good fighter from behind, but he's also a very good front runner. When he gets, gets going, he doesn't stop until it's over. I think that description will fit many of the top players. Guys like Sanchez and Marx, just to name two. They can win from behind, but they... Excellent front runners oh also. Fantastic yeah. front runners. If you let them take a 12-15 point lead, you're never going to see them again. Is he playing three cushions here? Or no? Looks like short, long, short. Little spin. Perfect shot. <laughs> Didn't have any chance at all at the World Championships in the match against Martin Horn. No, Martin just steamrolled him. Twenty off the break, my goodness, that's a statement, of course. That's too much corner. I think he hit two rails at the same time in that corner. But it came out a little bit funny. Yeah, he has a short cushion first, but when he still has the short cushion, he has contact with the short, and then during that short time, he takes the long cushion too, and then you get this strange reaction in it the corner. It looked funny the way it came out. Actually, mathematically, it's impossible yes, to hit yes. both cushions at the same time. Careful. No, that's long. Could have had a lot more points. Tran playing really well, but an occasional mistake in between. Typhoon. Looks like he has decided that he doesn't find his extension. There it is. <laughs> Don't want to spend the time out on such a thing. He has decided he can escape the kiss here. And he can. Oh yes, nicely done. That's a good shot. And now, no. most players one. don't like this shot, but I think Typhoon has no problem at all with it. Talking about the next shot where he has to play off that yellow, which is so close to the cushion. Looks difficult this one, doesn't it? 
Do you like those? No, he has to hit this so thin that it really doesn't make a big difference if it's on the rail or just off the rail. He has to hit it thin anyway. Not going to have a totally different reaction. Looks perfect. <laughs> if you have to hit it like m medium ball, that makes a big difference if it's just off the rail or on it. But yeah, with th these thin contacts, it's it's just the same the same thing. The thing is, you want to have a straight line from the first to the second cushion, yeah, and no, no curve, curves and no stuff. No curve, please, no curve. Straight down the middle, short, long, short, long, only hit correctly, no spin, high hit. Hit a sixth of the ball, something. Man, these tables are fast. That's actually an advantage on these shots, because yeah. when you need speed for, th for them, they become so much more difficult. Twice as difficult. And he just rolled it and it reached. And a nice continuation here of the yellow. Dangerous for a bad contact, butage or a kick. That will take the point away from you. But until now, balls have been behaving really well. And he knows he's missed it. You could see the gesture. So in hindsight, that was a really easy shot. Just a little bit more ball, yeah. half ball or something, and it's always a point. Yeah. But, yeah, we don't have the luxury of knowing that before. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. I'm not going to predict another 50-49, but you never know. He's happy about that one. He didn't want to miss another easy shot. For him, that's an easy shot. Nicely controlled the white here, and he took the spin out of the cue ball here, but a little bit was sti still in there. And uh, To be honest, I thought he would miss it long when I saw it leave the second rail. I thought it was going to do more on the third rail and it was going to be long, but I was wrong. I think he got too much speed on it. He, he usually plays these very soft, yeah. much softer than most other players. But and that is very thin. But good. Now, if this becomes like a Zanetti Jaspers match, 48 49, who's your favorite? Yeah, Tran. Tran is the better finisher f of the two. He has very strong nerves, like most Vietnamese players. Never gets worried. Did you know that the Vietnamese are the most optimistic people in the world? And I also know that they have the lowest BMI index. They are the thinnest in the world. Do you think that has anyth anything to do with it? Maybe the two are related, I don't know. Thin but and optimist. They did a very serious survey about optimism, uh, about uh, life expectancy and about uh, financial security and about f family and about housing, all these things. How do you predict, project your life to be five years from now? And as it turns out, the Vietnamese are the most optimistic country in the world with their, you know, very violent and sorry history. Mm. Unbelievable. Here we have one of the most optimistic Yeah, Vietnamese. he's a great guy. 
Great guy with a million dollar smile. I have never heard a bad word from that man. Oh no. He's so nice. What do you think about this shot, Bert? If he planned it like this, this it was a genius move. Well, he got the red ball exactly in the bottom end of the and right he opens up rail. He opens up the white here for some yeah. options. Perfect. Of course, you can't control that, but he almost knew that he was going to score on that side. So either his cue ball comes up in front or, yeah, they stay both close to the corner. So good chance for long, short, long, no, short, long, short it is, of course. That's uh, the old great Raymond Kölemans joke about the long cushions and the short cushions. Semi Seigener was, was having an exhibition and uh -huh. he was describing the shot he was going to shoot and he said sh uh, long cushion, short cushion. No, it's it's uh, the other way around. Sorry. Raymond Kölemans together with Semi making an uh -huh. exhibition. exhibition. Kölemans says, I'm going to play long cushion, short cushion. And Semi says, stop Raymond. This is not the long cushion, this is short cushion. And Raymond says, if I say short cushion, it is the short cushion. <laughs> nice shot again. I don't think I don't think Tran is very optimistic. He's just he has calculated all this stuff. He he knows how to play, to keep position, and how to make points. I think I have a theory that top players when they are you know, in good harmony with the table, they understand what is happening. They sometimes have an intuition for the correct side of the third ball to hit. And maybe it's not even conscious. In many cases, it's subconscious. Uh, it's m more than anything else. I think it's just statistics. You know where you are, where you normally hit. Some shots is almost 100% sure that you go on one side of the ball. Yeah. And you build that into your position play and you imagine what might happen. But this is really high school of uh, three cushion. Not not every hobby, hobby player can profit from this because it's, it's pretty comp complicated stuff. Too long. Yep. That's but a it little was careless. The right moment to miss, let's say it like that. Yeah, but it was a shot he would expect to make. Yeah. For his for his ability. For his ability it seemed a little sloppy. Not not really close in the end. But what he has left for Typhoon is nightmarish. They don't come much harder than this. Is there still a reverse ticky? Ah, my goodness! It's pretty good too because you can you can use pretty a lot, think? pretty much speed. Yeah, that was too much. Wow. It curves, but he gets away with it. He missed it short. Too much speed, or he just get a little bit unlucky to hit all of the ball. Did you see that? We just lost the uh, I know the light again. I know. For just a second. It was it so short. Out. It was like the room blinked. <laughs> <laughs> Scoreboard didn't mind this time, so they can continue. Expect Tron to try a draw shot here from the white directly to the short cushion. I I think I'm going to change that. He it's not really possible. He has no angle to, he's to going find to double the, the rail. third or the fourth cushion. Yeah. Double the rail shot. Little too much. Slow enough to to give Typhoon a little bit of a problem. This is what is so difficult about this 
ultra fast playing conditions. It's really hard to keep that yellow ball so soft there. If it goes up 10 centimeters more, the three cushion is really easy. Now Typhon at least has to use some reverse English or some speed or both. And he does, and he makes the point. And there's the applause. They still believe in him. It's not totally a capacity crowd. I see a few empty seats, but not many. A couple of hundred people here in Ankara. Also people standing up watching the matches. Close to the kiss. Very close to the kiss, but no problem. There's the hand gesture. Um, I was not unlucky at that point. Here almost you don't really have to say sorry because nothing can really happen there on, on that side of the kiss. No, but it's a sporting gesture of to course. acknowledge that you it could have gone wrong. Seldom played shot. But he opens up the position very yeah. nicely. That was a pretty good hit on the red. Look what the red is doing. This is well played because pretty new cloths and balls and everything. So you, if you don't play that shot during the whole tournament and suddenly you have to play it, you, you don't know how does the spin take. But no problem for Typhoon. He gets wonderful position. He can create one more here. Just needs the red to go out of the long cushion. Gets a nice contact with the yellow, but has the angle is not perfect. Red has to leave the cushion so yes. that you have some options of going thin around it or, or pushing it away first. You need, need to have those two options. So when you are playing these shots, Torbjörn, are you focusing mostly on, on the red ball, on the second ball? What you're doing with it? Yeah, if I if I can, and if the if the point is kind of sure, I try to make sure that that red ball doesn't go anywhere near <laughs> the long cushion because yeah. if it freezes, yeah. that might kill the the run. Yeah, might That's kill the, the end eruptions. of the run. No. Just. But the way he plays the red, this looks pretty safe, doesn't it? Four cushion of the white. I did expect him to get this. Yeah, I don't even think he played it long. Didn't he play that one short and I caught it too thin? I think he should have played it long. Really? So thin? Even thinner? Ooh. Okay, four cushions now. Needs a good hit, but he's almost frozen to the cushion. That's too that thin. That short. Yeah. It would have been short. Natural here for Typhoon, but needs draw, and this draw has to s be still in the cue ball when it hits the first rail, and it's about controlling that one. Doesn't really like the shot, he's looking for other shots, maybe. Yeah, two and a half it's times a around the table, maybe. Kiss problem. No, it's the draw, the deep draw, and he's not short enough. Yeah, he had an ad additional problem there. He needed to control the kiss at the same time, and the shot itself was was complicated. Needed more draw. He will always be close to that kiss, so I don't see any way around it. Might have been able to play it in a little bit different way, but it was, was not a surprise that he was looking for another shot, but yes. there wasn't really one. Perfectly controlled white ball. How about the yellow? Is it long enough? Oh yes, it is. Yes. Table Easily. stretching. Very late in the tournament, late in the match. 
tables performing really well, not causing any problems for the players. That's nice. That came nicely along off the last cushion. But here's a new problem. This, this would no be fun. sensational if he makes it. <laughs> what a good I try. I would be proud to hit it like that. He is just to miss it like that. Such a brilliant <laughs> player. He can play all kinds of shots. Now here we have Typhoon with a Zanetti-like position where he can maybe try a Developé and he can also try to play it with almost no English. What is he going to do? He has a lot of long cushion to work with down there in the corner. He played it very dry. Pretty flat. Nice. Very flat and very nicely. I think if the angle was on the other side, so if the red ball was on the long rail and you need that small chance, you would rather play the developed cue ball, lots of English. I had a talk with uh, one of my colleagues here after the first semi-final, the first match point yeah, by of by Marco. Zanetti, yeah. My colleague said full spin and you increase the, the space on the third cushion where, yes. you, where you can hit to yes. score. I agree. What is this? Again, he's in the diagonal. Yeah, he can't. He would have liked to use the red there for a three cushion, just drop it in the corner yeah. behind the yellow. But that's not on, so he's mm -hmm. going, going long, long, and around. Now he can get really lucky here. If white doesn't hit yellow, he, has he, produces, he, has he produces a big problem for his opponent. Too far out on the cue ball there. Cannot hold. No tip in the world can hold that cue ball hit. Yeah. We are seeing a lot of difficult positions today, Torbjörn, both in the first and match and in this match. This match has been pretty op open, but now it's kind of closing. This is no fun. It's a test of the problem-solving abilities of the players. And some of these problems are pretty horrible. Here's the classic two rails first solution. Plays it really slow. Plays it really well, but it looks long. It's long, yeah. And stops maybe two centimeters short of, of the shore. One cushion first there in the corner. Good try. Really good try here. <coughs> yeah, he cannot play one cushion first on the red. No way to score there, so he has to go for a bank shot, which is not really so easy. These are already difficult bank shots, and now he's close to first cushion as well. That makes it, doesn't make it easier. Very low percentage shot, no shame to miss that one. Nice white ball there, isn't it? Four cushions off the red and the white is wonderful in the corner. That's nice, you reduce the shot to only one problem, only hit that red ball right. That's what he does. Pretty good. So the gap is six points in favor of Tran. 
Tazdemir still in it. But Tran, the favorite, needs 12 more. And he's still doing almost two average. He's on 38 and 20. Pretty yeah. high standard. T a run of 10 and some sixes or stuff like that. Great shot here, so mm. controlled. Golden stroke. Full hit on the red that it doesn't go three cushions onto the white. Slows down his cue ball, stays in control. There is a five cushion off the red here, but a little tricky with the kiss. So if he can get this thin hit, it should be the easier point, of course. Thin and no kiss. Was a little close. Crunch time now, if he can make this sensitive little draw shot, short angle draw shot, if he can make that one, might be the key to the match. This is another one of those Sanetti type short angles that I'm not really fond of. Cannot be played any better than that. <sighs> so good. Made it look so easy. Now, on a normal table, on a beat up old table, you might be able to play the double the rail double shot the rail there of the white. Maximum right hand. Deep English. into the corner. I'm not sure this table gives that shot away. But it might do. From here, it looks easier. Yeah, now I see it. It's more than possible. Maybe even easy. He didn't mi nope. he missed nope. the corner. Should have been deeper in the corner. <laughs> By a lot. But you had all that spin on the third cushion, but... Look where he hits the long rail. Ooh, that's 65 centimeters out of the corner. That was far away. That's... You have to say that was careless. Because there was almost no way to miss it on the other side, so he could have gone as deep as he wanted. You're so right about that. Chance for Typhoon to come back into the match. Slow down his cue ball a lot there, so it yeah. kind of lost its life. Not sure if he wanted to hit that much of the red ball. Come on, says Typhoon. How can you be short? I gave it the full beans. Well, he didn't. That was a much better shot than it looked like because it was actually a question, is it possible at all? And he, he played it perfectly, so thin, again, just diving behind or right after the red ball, really close to kissing it twice. I have a feeling that uh, Mr. Tran is a big favorite now to win this, given the development of the match and a few errors by Typhoon. Too long, is it? Ooh, gets away with it. Tran looks so cool. Almost hit it too thin and now he has options here. He can use the white ball. That was almost too thin. Three cushions off the white here. It's if he can play that one bravely, a little soft, he can stay the cue ball with the with the red in the middle. Actually, it's not much easier when you use more speed because it's too close to that corner. So slow is maybe the best way. Shorty. Yeah. That one always looked short from the moment he hit it. 
And that's maybe the first time we see a little grimace, a little annoyance. Yeah, first negative, negative thing on his face. Yeah. Vietnamese didn't like that. And he has given a chance. <laughs> nice shot from Tashdemi there, not playing it softly. Made sure that the yellow came to the middle. And he knows that chances for a good position are very big. You have to say he needs seven or eight points now, at least. Might make all the 18. Look at how fully hit that yellow ball is. He knows exactly where the balls are going. Here, a little bit depending on how he hits the red, now he hits it full, so he can't see the yellow. Needs to make this five cushion work, and it seems to be okay. Now don't miss it short again, Typhoon, because that's a line you have played before. He was warned. He's not fooled this time. He got the yellow card the, the last time, so now he knows. <laughs> An 11 point advantage to Tran is disappearing. One, two, three, four. Make that five. Lots of speed on that shot. Brings all the balls together. The fact that Jaspers has two, two and a half hours rest and one of these guys does not. Is that how important is that in your view? <laughs> Difficult to answer. It's very individual, I think. Some players don't mind playing two Just hours and then going on one hour break and play two hours more. It's Maybe it's depending on how the second match starts. Can be heavy if you end up far behind with a with a slow start. I think Jaspers will be happy. I mean, not so much from a physical point of view, but from an emotional point of view that he had some time to recover from that dramatic finish. Maybe it's an advantage to play the second final also because you don't have a you don't have any time to to think about those things. You mm -hmm. need to you know grab something to eat and quickly get ready for the next. I'm I'm sure most players prefer to play the first semi-final, but it's very individual. Good shot here from Tran, <laughs> keeping his cool but losing position now. Completely lost position there, mm -hmm. unlucky. Not a shot where you can play position, but this is not, of course, not so funny. Can you throw this into the corner there with? For a four, lots of links. Uh, links. Oh, that's German. Yeah. Lots of. Lots left of left-handed English. English. But he plays the to thin hit top. for a safety shot. Oh, he even gives it two chances. That's interesting. <laughs> Fast enough for a five cushion. But too short, even for the backup. 
Oh, what a thing hit. Amazing queuing skills. Probably would like to play this one with full English, but not possible, so he has to play it flat. And does a great job. I think that was an excellent shot under pressure. Yeah, you had to control the yellow at the same time, so aiming thinner than you actually really want on, on, a, on that shot. Now he has to hope that he has a six cushion here. I think he has the ball cleaned. Nice little gadgets I have here in this tournament. Very easy. Goes quickly. Much faster than referees. Yeah, with a pencil. Pen doing pencil marking that yeah. takes forever. Yeah. This is much better. There are so many different gadgets, gadgets like that. What do you call them? Gadgets. B ball markers or whatever. They're so different. Yes. Some of them are difficult to handle. Other others are easier. Now where's the yellow? No, it's no problem. He will escape it. No. no In the end, he gets it. Unlucky. Of course, the second cushion of the object, object ball was, was important. He got it into the wrong cushion. You can see it again. Yellow should go to the long cushion there, and then it's yeah. away forever. And this one is difficult to avoid. Mm, nice. <laughs> nice reactions from the audience. Some, some people thinking, how could he get that kiss? Yeah, it's a difficult it's game. It's so unjust what it is. The game is not fair sometimes. Ooh. Is this really going to work? No, that's the mathematical kiss he's getting there. Good chance for Typhoon here. Yeah, it is. Almost a sure point. Only six points the difference. He can close the gap here if he hits a good shot. And people are going to ask me, Bert, how often have you had two semi-finals both ending in 50-49? And I suppose you have the answer already. No, I don't know. I would have to look that up. Typhoon has to. Yeah, Typhoon has to. If you have to, you have to. <laughs> and Tyran is running behind him. If you're going to go, I'm going to go. Oh, this is funny. Pretty funny, yeah. I love the great spirit in which this match is played. These now let's see if somebody does a Djokovic. Yes. Take a shower, change the clothes, come back 15 <laughs> minutes later. He's explained to fans. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Of course. I think one of the tennis breaks was 15 minutes. Oh, that's horrible. That's too long. We have our five minute break in the middle of the match always. And, uh, and then, of course, there is the uh, the gentleman's agreement, if somebody asks, I need to go, there's never a no. no. Occasionally, yeah. in the history of billiards, there were some rotten apples who, yeah. who would say no, but uh, not many. 
and look at this picture. Two happy guys. Enjoying the great billiards in Ankara, Turkey. And there's still more to come because we have a final later this afternoon between Dick Jaspers and one of these two guys. Here they are. Back from their little visit. Ready to close out the match. Actually, Typhoon went in the middle of his run. Yes, that's unusual. Oh, that's that's really unusual. <laughs> Did it cost him a timeout? I don't know. Not even. Shot with reduced English. Horribly difficult. I think all players hate those. Everybody hates those shots. If you can play it like a developed ball... You love it when you can yes. push all the English yes. there is. But Here he would he have had to draw deep in he much earlier on the short rail. Also difficult. He had to hold back there and not give all the English. Nice shot here for Tron, but there is that little gap. And you tend to go there when you need points in the end of the match, but no. he takes the points. This one is safe. So we can start the countdown again. Tron needs five for a place in the final. Did he put the white ball? On the long cushion or close to the long cushion? Uh, might not matter that much. Maybe Just he still has a shot off the white. Looks like he does. And he's one of the greatest cures. So that shot is not very much of a problem for him. Is if there he doesn't an make enormous it, enormous fluke coming. If he doesn't make it, he takes the fluke. Oh wow. my goodness, what a fluke! A little bit too thin. There's the kiss. Couldn't There's get rid line. of the white. There's the fluke. A monster. And it's given him a decent position as well. Full spin here. White ball far, far, far away, gets another kiss, but this time it's no good. Well, there's a little bit, little bit of poetic justice there. <laughs> oh, he decides he cannot play the, the short, long short because of the kiss. That's what he would love to play. Yeah, I just so had a look. So much easier. I just had a look directly to the table and it wasn't worth trying <laughs> when you have this shot to play. That was excellent. Play the draw shot with plenty of quality. Very soft here. You don't want to go quickly into the first cushion on that shot. You delay that as much as possible to be able to control the cue ball. What is Where's red the doing? Red? Where's it's the red? looking bad. Oh, that looked bad all the way. That looked like a mistake from the second he hit it. And Tran has some kind of cushion first here. One cushion first on the red. It's difficult because he can't reach it. And he risks not getting the second long cushion. Two cushions first into the white? Yeah, two cushions first into the white. One cushion first into the white. But exactly one cushion first before the red is not a good shot, I think. Because you will be stretching so much. Maybe I would get it wrong, but I would play two rails first into the white. Yeah. Use some speed. That's what I would have tried, yes. 
good shot I'm again. Glad, I'm glad you're telling me it was the right decision. Yeah, I, if you reach it, you could also play one cushion first on the white. Yes. If it's comfortable, you you could play that one too. Pretty good chances. And that's natural English, so this is against the English in the third cushion, so things could happen. But it was pretty good position and very comfortable to shoot. And the countdown continues because Mr. Tehran has reached playing for three. He's going to take the time out here. First time he thinks a long time about a shot. It is kind of a semi-complicated position. Wow. Wow. Great shot. Brave decision and a great execution. That's a shot of a great finisher. Oh. A winner type. Yeah, that's a... What a bad angle that had. Nerves of steel shot. Wonderful. Fully committed. He didn't like that. And the applause is encouragement for Typhoon Tajdemir. He should have made that point. Yeah, he really should have. He's he is angry with himself there and he's right about that. And we are telling the world what a great finisher he is, but he did make a bad mistake on 48. That's good. Typhoon's countdown, nine points to go. We talked about all his runs of 30 and more and, and stuff, and now he only needs 10, but under immense press pressure, of course. No equalizing inning here, so the player who reaches 51st is the winner. Yes, which whichever player that is, 50 is a win. Eight more for the Turk. Five cushions here. I'm not sure he can just play it naturally. Not sure if the red goes away. Place it on seven. But not enough energy on the backup. Ooh, very exciting shot. Needed just a little bit more backup, a little bit more speed maybe. But he came up short. I think he could he couldn't play faster because then it's even shorter. He needed so much manipulating on that shot yeah it became second ball had to go in the gap first and then be fast enough to avoid the kiss in the end and yes and doesn't look like a good angle is it no. too short no oh it's yes good. he gets it's it good. wow what a shot again it's a great shot <laughs> that's number 49 so we have Kuya Chin Tran on match point. And these guys are more nervous than Tran. I'm Here's sure about that. the Japanese that. community. Five cushion is not on, I think, from the red. And the three cushion of the white is pretty far away, and he just missed one of those. I think he has. Really it. decent hit. 
I think he has oh, it. Yes. Kuya Chukan beats Typhoon Tajdemir and books his place in the final of the Ankara World Cup to play against Dick Jaspers an hour from now. Thank you again, Togren. I hope you will be here for the final. Thank you, Bert. I will do my utmost to join you for the final. And thank you for watching 5 and 6 on YouTube. We'll be back later with the final.